popping sounds in a crowded mall is any shopper's nightmare, and that's exactly what employees say they heard at Northwoods Mall in North Charleston on Saturday. North Charleston police say it turned out to be a smash and grab incident at the Zales Jewelry Store. Anna Harris spoke with employees who experienced the incident firsthand and with the mall about what they're doing to uh, as they move forward. All of a sudden, I just hear bang, 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 bang. I, my first thought was. Holy crap, a shooting. North Charleston police responded to Northwoods Mall on Saturday for reports of a shooting, which was later identified as a smash and grab at the Zales Jewelry Store. He had a hammer, an axe, or some kind of weapon, one object in his hand, and he's just whacking the heck out of that countertop. The incident report says one of the Zales employees told officers a man came in, smashed a jewelry case, stole merchandise, and left a crowbar. I had no idea what was going on. I just, you know, hearts pounding. Employees say they had to follow standard security procedures by closing down the gates, putting the customers in the back of the store, and they had to wait for law enforcement to give them the okay. I asked them if they felt prepared. We got as much trailers as we, we can. But when returning to work this week, I'm nervous. <laughs> I, I've heard a bang earlier from someone for like, I guess somebody's gate coming up and it made me jump. I was like, oh, geez, I'm going to be jumping for the rest of the week. North Charleston police says there have been eight robberies, some even armed in or around the Northwoods Mall property since 2021. One employee also mentioned a shooting that injured three at the mall that happened on Valentine's Day in 2021. The mall's corporate communications declined to provide security camera footage of the smash and grab incident, but did say they work closely with North Charleston police and monitor security measures regularly, both the ones known and unknown to the public. They say they take the concerns of employees and customers very seriously and will have police on site on Black Friday throughout the weekend and the holiday season. They're here for our safety, and so their presence is very much appreciated by everybody working at the mall and everybody shopping at the mall. The management of the Zales did not get back to me for a comment. No arrests have been made and the investigation is still ongoing. In North Charleston, Anna Harris, Live 5 News. Well, the incident report says the smash and grab suspect was a man wearing a jumpsuit with a Rugrats character on it. He arrived to the mall in a white Dodge Ram pickup truck, which was later found out to be stolen. Officers were told by witnesses the suspect looked to be carrying a baby during the crime, but North Charleston police say they obtained no information indicating that was true.